Late Show, everybody. Folks, our first guest tonight is a two-time Academy Award winner and one of the founders of the Tribeca Film Festival, which returns tomorrow for its 21st year. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Robert De Niro. <laughs> So nice to have you back. You really class up a place. Well, that's very, very nice of you. <laughs> I'm a very nice person. You are. Thank you. You are. Yeah. You evidently just noticed that I'm a nice person. No, I've, I've known that for a while. You, I've always liked you. How have you been? I haven't talked to you in person. You were on uh, over, you know, COVID over Zoom. Yeah, yeah. But I haven't yeah. seen you in person in a couple of years. How, how, how are you holding together? Everything's moving along. It's really nice that it's over. Oh, not yeah. over. It's... Hopefully, it's sure. getting, Hopefully. becoming over. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been so. fooled a couple of times before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But what about, like, I know that you, you, you have a fair amount of, uh, you have emotions about politics. You have thoughts, of course, yes. first. Those stir emotions. I know you have some anxiety about the state of politics in the United States. Having a new guy at uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, has that, have you sleep any better at night? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, you know, he, he got us into calm waters. That was yeah. always the idea. Yeah. He's doing a very good job. It's a tough one. I couldn't imagine. I, I, I could imagine how difficult it is. Um, I have decisions in my own personal life that, that I imagine that what he goes through is 100 times that. Yeah. And, and so, uh, no, he's doing the best he can, and, and uh, we got to get through a bad period. Yeah. Period. Yeah, yeah. It's graduation season. One thing you and I have had in common, we've done a couple of uh, graduation uh, uh, commencement addresses over the years. Yes. What advice do you like to give? I gave some advice tonight. I just told a young lady over here, I said, don't worry, it's not going to help. And I'm well, curious, well, like, what's, what kind of advice would you like to have gotten? I, I think I got... You can't give advice, really, at the end of the day. You're out there on your own, and uh, I guess... <laughs> That's the advice. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> you are out Good there. luck. I tell any actor, any, I tell my own kids this, but if you're reading for something, just assume you're not going to get the part. And that'll free oh. you, if anything. It'll free you to make a bolder choice, maybe. And what'll happen, it's more important than even the director watching you do the reading. It's the casting director, because they, they work with directors all the time. So oh, if they I see see. you do something that's kind of interesting and bold, they'll tell the director of another th project they're working on, well, maybe, you know, this actor's not quite what you're looking for, but they're interesting, you should meet them. Yeah. And you never know what happens, so... Yeah. But I always he's say... He's got this interesting quality, this actor, where he doesn't look like he uh, thinks he's gonna ever have anything good happen for that's him. Right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Did you exactly. really do that when you were a young actor, go in and say, uh, I'm not gonna get this? No, it's not so easy, but you, you do just... Um, assume that you're not going to get it. I've gone for, I've read for things over and over and over again, and I've done it every which way to the point of absurdity. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, they just wanted somebody. I wasn't quite right, no matter how you sliced it. So they got somebody with some, a name value, and some, that's understandable. Robert De Niro doesn't have... Uh, no, not, not then. <laughs> oh, not that, then. The, oh, this not is... This when is I was in my early Old, 20s. young yeah. Robert De Niro, yes. yeah. I don't know if you had this experience. When I was younger and was a struggling actor, trying to really be an actor, and as opposed to whatever this is, and <laughs> I'm not sure how to define what this is, is that I always felt like when I was working, of course I'm going to keep working. I'm a working actor. But at the minute I wasn't working, I'll never work again. That was the feeling. That was the anxiety. I don't know why I didn't have that feeling. I, 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 I mean, I'm not, I just didn't. Bob, I'm getting the feeling you didn't have a lot of feelings. I didn't have any feelings. You're dead inside. I was dead inside, so I just, you know, I just uh, walked through it all. No, I just, um, you, you um, are always 
looking for the next thing, hoping it's the excitement of something new coming along. Mm -hmm. Not like you had a job and then all of a sudden, what am I going to do next? I always felt very optimistic. I don't know why, I just did. Wow. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, I will ask Robert De Niro about a reunion of the cast and director of Heat at the Tribeca Film Festival. Stick around. Mm -hmm.